Everyone, welcome back to Femacy Lighthouse. Thank you so much for being here with me today on this Monday. To book a private session, all of that info can be found in the description box below of this video. Today, I will be uploading Taurus versus Sagittarius, and I'm doing a love reading for Cancer. So if you are not yet a member of the Femacy Lighthouse VIP, I will put the link for you to join in the comment section. There's over 100 videos in there. I am also giving away a free 30-minute private session on June 15th. If you're interested in joining the raffle, all you have to do is become a follower of the Femacy Lighthouse pre-show on Instagram. That link is in the comment section. Let's get started. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the recent past when it comes to energies that surround Taurus. Talk to me about energies in the recent past. What's going on here? We have the Hermit. Coming out here first, Virgo energy. Tell me more about the Hermit. The Ace of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Tell me more. The recent past for Taurus. The Moon is in Taurus today as well. And the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Ten of Cups. The Hanged Man Energy. One more, please. The Nine of Swords. The Knight of Cups. Okay, Taurus. So there's somebody here that's interested. If you didn't know it, there is. Okay. Could be a water sign. It doesn't have to be. All right, this is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, but this is someone that is looking to impress you, looking to get your attention. I feel like they want to do that on the low though. You know what I'm saying? With the hermit coming out here, it has to be done quietly. Whatever it is that they plan on expressing to you is something that feels very important to them. I feel like they can't wait to approach you However, with this hanged man energy, we're still in this phase of having to calculate or plan something out. Okay, I feel like this person has to plan this for some reason. With the hermit coming out here, I still feel like they don't want everybody to know or this is something that has to be quiet. This is something that cannot be out in the open. I feel like... You have been really busy lately. You seem to be in this 10 of pentacles, which is great. So I feel like you're focused on your success and you're focused on accomplishing your goals. Because of that, some of you guys have been having sleepless nights. All right. I just feel like there could be some worry on your behalf. I don't feel like you're worried about this knight of cups or this person that wants to approach you. I feel like... There's certain deadlines that you have, okay? So there's certain things that need to get paid or certain projects that you have going on. And that could be heavy on your mind in the recent past. I feel like you are gonna be successful. So there's no need to worry about how you're gonna get this done or who's gonna help you. You will get the help that you need. I see the 10 of pentacles and that's why I know that you're going to achieve whatever it is that you're trying to acquire. However, there's somebody over here that is looking to impress you, be around you, come and see you, come towards you. All right, with this Knight of Cups energy, I'm going to clarify the Hermit because I'm wondering why this person is so quiet or just feeling like they can't be out in the open with this whole thing. All right, so let me clarify this Hermit. Spirit, talk to me about the Hermit. Okay, so Four of Cups coming out here. Tell me more about this Hermit. Why can't they speak up? Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And the Three of Swords. Three of Pentacles. See, this is what they want. This person could also have Earth in their birth chart. Is what I'm getting. They could be like a Virgo moon. Capricorn rising, Capricorn moon, Taurus moon, something like that. 
They could also be dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn outside of you. All right. Because with the hermit here, it's like, why do we have to keep this quiet? Or why can't you be honest about this situation? So someone continues to conceal something, which brings us back to yesterday's message of someone feeling trapped and stuck. And it's because they're not living the way that they want to be living. And I feel that there's some type of image that they're trying to keep going, but that image is not really who they are and it's not where they really want to be. Okay, that's why the hermit is here. They're trying to hide what they want to do, but I feel like you can already feel that this Knight of Cups is coming towards you anyways. You can feel that someone's interested, that they like you, that they want more. Okay, I'm sure you can feel that energy. However, you may not be hearing from this person because of the hermit being present. You may not see them all of the time. They're trying to evade the situation. So there's no direct contact in the way that you would need to see or in the way that you're looking to hear. That's what I'm getting, okay? Now... Spirit, tell me more. Let's talk about the present. That was the recent past. Spirit, talk to me about the present. Capricorn energy in the present moment. Is this person dealing with a Capricorn? Do they have Capricorn in their chart? Are they obsessing over something? Someone is obsessing here with the devil being present. Tell me more about Capricorn coming out here in the present moment. The devil, talk to me about the devil coming out here. All right, so we have you and someone here. All right, they're obsessing over you or you both could be obsessing over each other is what I'm getting. Tell me more about the Six of Cups. Talk to me about the Six of Cups energy in the present moment, please. Three of Wands, Three of Wands. Someone from afar, okay? This person keeps obsessing. They keep obsessing over you. They don't want to admit this, but that's what this is saying, okay? I feel like they could be with a Capricorn or with a, a Earth sign. Somebody else is what I'm feeling, okay? They keep looking back at you they keep reminiscing about you all right if you are currently in a relationship with this person right because these are general messages not every Taurus is going to resonate but if you are with this person then i feel like one of you keeps looking back at what happened and it's like it's time to drop it or let it go in order for you guys to continue because someone keeps bringing up the past and it's like we're not able to go back to that or try and relive that experience again. We can only move forward from that and to continue to bring up something that felt traumatic is only going to provide more trauma if we continue to give it attention. So there could be something like that going on. For some of you, not all of you. Now, tell me more about the Three of Wands energy in the present. Talk to me about the Three of Wands. See, I feel like you and this person, regardless of separation, even if you are together, I mean, you love each other. There's a lot of feelings here. There's no doubt about that. Sometimes you find yourself constantly thinking about them and they constantly are thinking about you with the Two of Cups energy. Tell me more about the present. Clarify the Two of Cups. The star, someone is hoping for a new experience just to be able to... Be around you, Taurus. This person feels like 
they're losing the opportunity, they're losing the chance, they're losing that feeling of being happy in their life. You know, I feel that there may be material things that are making them happy, okay? Money could be making this person happy, but I mean in reference to like their emotions, you know, um, feeling happy with the person that they are being intimate with, feeling um, emotionally connected with someone. I, I feel like in the present moment, there's something going on with that. Their intimacy is not what they would like it to be. And if you are with them, it's because of some type of discrepancy that's happening where somebody keeps looking back at the past and bringing it up. If you guys are apart, it's because somebody doesn't know how to let go of the past, but they really want to connect with you. However, they're being stubborn. It's like, if you are what they really want, then they need to be honest and clear with themselves about that. And there's a right way for them to come to you. They know that, okay? They just feel like if they were to come back around, that there would be chaos and drama. That's what I'm always getting about this person. They feel like if they come back around, they feel like you're going to start something with them. I don't know why. I always get that with this person, all right? And I feel like it's time for them to let that go. There's something about the past that someone needs to recognize and then let it go, okay, in the present moment. Because I see two energies that really love each other, that want to be around each other, but because of past issues that keep coming to the surface. And it's somebody who keeps bringing it up. You know, it's somebody who keeps reliving or wanting to relive something that happened back then. And it's like, no, let's just be happy in the moment and let's move forward from here. You know, there needs to be that progressive type of thinking like I was speaking about yesterday. Instead of someone continuing to work backwards, right? and creating more trauma. That's what I feel. I also feel in the present moment, somebody feels like they did you so wrong that they don't know how to make it right or they don't know how to fix the situation with you because they feel like they created this version of you where you just don't give a fuck and you're not going to put up with anything and they feel like you're quick to walk out the door because of everything that they put you through. So, they're questioning your loyalty. And, you know, it's a paradox because I feel like you're questioning their loyalty. Where it's like, I wouldn't have been like this if you wouldn't have done that. And so in the present moment, there's probably that type of conflict going on. But I feel like at this time, if you want to make it work with this person, there can't be this, oh, but if you wouldn't have done that, I wouldn't be like this. And if you wouldn't have, you know what I mean? It's like, it's time to drop that dialogue and just live in the moment. If you still feel connected to me, I may still feel connected to you. Let's have that conversation on how we can coexist. Because deep down inside, this person wants to coexist with you. There's egos here. People are mad about things that happened in the past. I get it. But it's like spirit is just asking for both parties to not focus on the past and to focus on the present. That's what I'm getting. Now, let's take a look at the future. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the future when it comes to these energies. Talk to me about the future when it comes to these energies, please. The Nine of Cups. It looks like you're going to... Be around the person you want to see again if you are apart from them. And if you are with someone, it looks like things are going to get better with the Nine of Cups energy coming out here in the future. Tell me more about the Nine of Cups. Yeah, you see? You are somebody's... Number one, like, you know, I don't care if they're with somebody else. I just know that, you know, when they see you, they light up. <laughs> or 
when they think of you, they can't stop. And this is someone that heavily desires you in the present moment. And they're looking for your energy. You both may be looking for each other's energy is what I feel. And you're finding it, by the way. <laughs> you guys are finding each other in the 5D realm. I believe that. And I, I kind of feel like you both may be obsessing over something here. The both of you. This is an energy of two people who really want to be around each other, want to be with each other. People who are attracted to each other, but there's still something from the past that someone is not letting go of. And spirit is saying that that needs to be dropped, you know? Tell me more about the future here. Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Tell me more. Ooh, saw how that card flipped around. Victory. All right, so. And we have Mars energy coming out here. I'm telling you, this person is on their way. I don't know who they are. I don't know if it's a new person that keeps bringing up the past or if you're bringing up the past, but there's major emphasis on having to lay something to rest and focus on how you both feel about each other and have that conversation on how you both plan on being in each other's environment because that's what this person is telling me, that they still want you in their life, Taurus. That's what they're telling me right here. I still want Taurus in my life. I don't want to lose Taurus. Taurus is so important. I know I fucked things up. I know... I should have done better. And now when I'm losing Taurus, my whole world is falling apart. Okay. I don't want to lose Taurus. That's what I'm getting from this person. And I feel like even if you're not hearing from this person right now, if you are separated, they're going to come back. I see them, you know, Knight of Swords, the Fool energy, Aries, Page of Cups, you're the six of wands. You're the nine of cups. You're their number one. They know it. There's no one else like you. No one fills your shoes. They can try. They have not been successful. They might have made poor choices because they felt pressured at certain times of distress and depression where they made choices based off of a time where they were not feeling so well. Okay? But through you, they are learning a lot. You are really teaching this person so many things. You are their hierophant. You're the leader. You're the coach. You're the counselor. And I feel like at this time, they're really looking up to you. Believe it or not, they are looking up to you. That is the energy that I'm getting. All right. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.